Hey there, HLS Show Me How. My name is Michael Gennady and I'm a Microsoft Teams technology specialist for the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. You can find me and all my colleagues always over at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. Now, on to the challenge. So today's Show Me How really focuses on training in an organization. And within an organization, you have the formal training that takes place in an LMS or learning management system, often around things like compliance, etc. Um, but oftentimes, this is not the type of training that we're talking about. So organizations have needs around training and knowledge mastery checks dispersed across the organization, which a centralized learning management system or LMS cannot address. For example, uh, you might have nurses that are within a hospital and they need to follow a new protocol for hand washing or some other mechanism. So somebody's gonna create some training to and then be able to check to ensure that all of them are on the same page, right? Also, the subject matter experts the folks creating this, whether they be clinicians or sales or, uh, you know, patient um, intake, etc., they're not necessarily skilled in instructional design and delivery. So the creation of this content has to be easy. Next, there needs to be a way to capture knowledge mastery of skills and content presented to ensure that all the targeted employees have learned and mastered the content, right? We need to be able to actually pull and see, hey, did they in fact master the skill? Did they complete the course of training? And we need to be able to report on that and be able to demonstrate that um, predictably and easily, again, using tools that they're already used to. And finally, employees don't want to have yet another place they have to go to go for training and knowledge checks. We need to be able to bring the training to them where they're getting their work done. So what does that mean? Well, the solution is the use of Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms is a great way to create quizzes, surveys, etc., where we can capture and see did in fact the employees master the knowledge or even just have them sign off on that. And we can do this now with the inclusion of Microsoft Stream videos in line with the questions. Now, in, on our site, we have shown previously how you can easily create videos to show how to do things like I'm doing right now using PowerPoint recording. Um, so, you know, the creation of videos, but then being able to bring those in line with the questions and things that are being, you know, that we're checking against, that's powerful and it's simple and easy. Then we wanna be able to surface the training and training checks that we've created right where they work, Microsoft Teams. So it's kind of a one, two, three punch, uh, three strikes, and the opponent is down and you've got it in the bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this actually looks like. What we're gonna do today is we are going to go ahead and we're gonna show the creation of a form, the addition of videos from Microsoft Stream, and then finally how we can surface all that right within Microsoft Teams. All right, so here we are we're within forms and what we're gonna do, like I mentioned, is we're gonna create a form, right? We could create a quiz. That'll only let me answer a question one time. I don't wanna do that for demo purposes. Uh, and the forms look the same, but now I ha in this I have the option to do that. So we're gonna create a new form and we'll go ahead and click new form. We can give it a title and we'll call this our safety first training, okay? So we can give it a name. We can enter this, a description um, if we wanted. You notice we can add an image, so we could go in, we could search, let's say, and since I'm healthcare and life sciences, let's do healthcare, right? Get a, a nice little image we can put over there. I'll put, uh, that looks kind of cool. Let's add that one. So we're gonna go ahead and add it. It's gonna add this little image here next to our title. Beautiful, that's all nice. Uh, the next thing, 
We could also theme it if we wanted, all right? But I'm not gonna. We're just gonna leave it like that. And now that we have this, you'll notice we can go back and forth, preview what it's gonna look at any time. But now we can begin to add content. And so we're gonna add a multiple choice question. And since ours is on training, for whom is training safety important All right that's going to go along with a video we're going to add i'm going to say for everyone for the select few <coughs> there we go um, now that we have those two options, we could also say we could allow multiple answers, make it a required question. Um, we can have shuffle options, drop down subtitles. <coughs> We're not going to do that though. What we are going to do though is when we mouse over, notice this little box here. We're going to say insert media. All right. I got a cough drop. I've been co <laughs> coughing here. Um, I selected insert media. Instead of inserting just a picture like we saw earlier, now what I can do is insert either an image like we did here or a video. When I select video, we've always had the option to insert a YouTube URL. But what we want is a stream video that goes along with this. So we're going to go ahead, come back to Microsoft Stream, go to Discover, to Videos. Here is the video that we want to use. I'm here we're going to pause that. We're going to share the link. Come on back. Paste that. Click Add. <coughs> Excuse me. And here you can see now, there's my question the video that provides the context or the training that concerns this question is in line so somebody can come in they can watch it and let's go to the preview to see what that would look like there we go so we're going to go ahead and select it i'm here to let you know about some safety improvements that have been made both here at headquarters and at our multiple manufacturing facilities we are, of course, always concerned for the safety of every member of our team. and at the Every team. member. Ah, so there we go. So I can go ahead. I can submit that answer. All right. If I was, you know, um, multiple people coming in, they could come in. We could say for the select few. Some another response. We'll say for everyone again, submit. But the beauty of it is now we've not only created a little snippet here a video and you could do this in powerpoint recording like we've shown on previous videos or any other mechanism that you want to use to create those but you simply upload them to stream we've put it in line and we can do that for every question or groups of questions um, but now you'll notice we also have responses and if i select that you'll see oh i'm seeing now we had two respondents for that and i'm getting visual results i can go ahead even and click view results and so i can do it by the individual and see how you know what it took for them to complete um, we can also come back here click more details and see who selected what we can even export the entire training into excel so we can slice and dice so we've now created a form with inline video right that allows me to then do knowledge checks built in. So we have training, we have knowledge checks, we could add additional ones if desired, right? Simply by coming in, say another question, answer one, answer two, there we go. And again, we could come on back here. Let's close that. Let's grab a different video. Um, HLS, show me how. And we'll go ahead and share. Copy. Close. Let's pause that. 
So now we could add this video here as well, right? And we could add a whole series of these if we wanted. Or we could add just a single one with then with a number of questions. Both are applicable, right? So you could do one long video or multiple smaller chunks so people can, uh, you know, answer those as they go. And again, you know, we can preview and see what's this look like. Well, here we go for everyone. And we'll say answer to submit. And now if we go on back, we're, you can see we're getting all, we're continuing to add our responses and can export all that out to Excel. One last thing though, what if you want to do a live training and have people answer things? Well, let me go ahead here and under questions, let's see, let's delete that one. And for this particular one, let's delete that video. What if you wanted to deliver the content live? Well, guess what? Here's the beauty of it, right? I've set up a uh, live event. So if I go discover videos, you'll see I have a live event, demo live event. It's upcoming. If I click over here, you can see I've set it all up. Um, and what I want to do though is with this, I can view the settings. Uh, actually, we want to update the details. There we go. Once I've done that, I have the option to share this link. So this is for a live event. And guess what? It's going to work the exact same. I can do video. I can paste. So now I've done, I've created a form, you know, with answers. I have a live event. When this is live, people can watch the video live, right? They can watch the live video going and then they can answer all the subsequent questions that are here. The final piece though in this puzzle, let's go back to forms, is here's our safety first training, is now I want to bring this to where people are. So let's come here into Microsoft Teams. And there's a couple and there's something that we can do very easily now. So for my team, I want to bring this training to where they're at. I'm going to select forms add an existing form. There's the two ones. It's the safety first. I want to collect responses. I'm going to click save. It's creating the tab and there it is. So now we've got here this live event coming up where people can watch the live presentation, answer any of the questions that have been answered and submit. Um, or it could be the original format. But I've done an end to end where we've created the form to capture information. We've included the video training content for that. And finally, we've brought it to where the people are working. If we really wanted to get sophisticated, we could even publish it as an app here to the left-hand side um, and make it available that way as well.
So that's it. I mean, it's simple, right? Go and create a form. Next to your questions, you can add media. And that can be an image or a video. It can be from YouTube or from Stream, which is rocking. It's new. It's out there. Go ahead. Play around with it a bit. Try, try your hand at it. You don't have to be an expert. You can see how quickly and easily I did it. You can, too. Just, you know, follow back along. I'm going to include some links in this post. So if you look at the full post, you'll be able to look at some resources around both forms and stream. Finally, you know, if you have other questions around how to do things, um, I've had customers ask this before, you can always find me at our blog at aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can also find me on LinkedIn if you look for Mike Gennati. I'm on Twitter where I'm always publishing out um, links and uh, to other content that we're doing. And then you can find me there at Gennati. And finally, I have a Facebook page where I publish upcoming events and posts, etc., that are there and some uh, areas of interest that you can find me at M. Gennati. So that's, I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, this is Mike Gennati for Healthcare and Life Sciences at Microsoft. Bidding you have a great day. Take care. And as always, ciao.